Well, it, that was a big surprise that Peter Pratt went out so vocally to say we're going to assess whether it's the right timing to announce the exit. Um, it is highly questionable that we get a full roadmap of how the ECB wants to unwind its QE and to get also that we get a final date for the QE program. Also, everybody is expecting it to, to end at the end of this year. But given all the uncertainties out there in the world economy, it's widely seen that, that the ECB wants to keep a little bit of flexibility, but we should get at least a change in wording that they're going to phase uh, the QE program, going to phase it out until the end of the year, perhaps. Um, what else uh, we are going to watch out for is a new uh, upgraded staff projection for the month of June, and we should see an upward revision quite sizably when it comes to inflation. That's, give, that's giving, of course, the, the ECB more ammunition to say, listen, it's high time to end our extraordinary stimulus program. At the same time, we're going to see most likely a downward revision when it comes to growth because recent economic indicators are suggesting that the weakness in the first quarter wasn't just a blip, but it's continuing also in the second quarter. And of course, the big elephant in the room is Italy, whether there is a political motivation for the ECB now to speed up their exit scenario. With that, back to you. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.